Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough or even want to give your opinion or drop your positive feedback, I would love that. And that will be greatly appreciated. If you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a thumbs up. Share if you feel free. And thank you so much for the love and support once again and coming to see about my channel. And for my returning subs, as always, what's up fam? Much love to you. Many blessings and love and light. Love and blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support and come to see about the video today. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Be That Motivation. And today I'm listening to 528 Hertz, Stop Overthinking and Worry and Activate Your Higher Mind. That This is a really good meditation too. It's just really calm and peaceful, you know, especially if you got a lot of things on your mind. Um, and it's a really good meditation, so I will go ahead and put it, the link down in the description box below. And, you know, be, be that motivation. Um, when you're going on that journey, you might come across, you know, uh, friends, co-worker, family members that are down. You know, they, they're they losing confidence in what they have. Or it could be, you know, somebody you come across that, you know, you feel like you can even feel off their energy that they have. That they really need to hear that positive, you know, that positive vibe. You know, get that positive vibe. So, you're, you know, when you're feeling that good vibe and stuff like that, when you go out, you never know, like I've said so many times, in my videos you never know how much your story inspires people because it's just like I've been you know watching all you know my subs videos and you know listen to a lot of gospel music today I don't know why I was listening to it today but I really got into my feelings about that and it was like I was listening to take me to the kingdom um I smile uh I never would have made it and it's it's just like because on this journey and me making these videos has really put a positive aspect on my life and it's just like when I'm not making my videos you know like I said I'm human you know I'm going through a lot you know losing your father and not getting a chance to know them you know know him and you know you know you have a spiritual connection with him and that was you know you, you know I was speaking to him on the phone and not really knowing what was going on but I knew there was a special connection with us every time we talked and it was just like going through this experience and being able to heal from grief that you know really I really don't get asked answers for I'm getting spiritual answers I'm getting things from my past that I never um it was putting two and two together so doing more of these videos finding out more about myself has really been a truly big blessing to me and it really has humbled me in so many different ways and I had to be that motivation it's just like when you when you don't know how much it touched me when I have people watching my videos and they comment and they they don't even know me and they feel open enough to tell me their stories and a lot of them are very touching and a lot of them are very heartbreaking and that is a true blessing when you know you know, because I didn't feel like I was, I didn't have that confidence in myself to really know, am I doing the right thing? Because I've had family members that had put me down, that told me that I wouldn't make it in life. I would, you know, all I would bring is turmoil. You know, I was always jinky. And I believed that, you know, at one time. I was really thinking that because they told me that for so many years. And then when I started doing these videos and start seeing how fast and rapid like the the subscribers are getting the views are getting the comments 
you know, now I know everybody doesn't feel like commenting when they watch my videos, and that's fine, but as long as you were able to get the message out of it, you might even go through the same thing and not be comfortable enough to feel like you want to be open, and that's why I said I want to go ahead and get that, uh, my Facebook page open up, and then when I come up with the, um, with the, you know, basically with my page or whatever, if you feel like you want to message me, you can even private message private message me now if you feel like you want to talk to me about certain things um i have many different messages with people doing that and they wanted to get advice about certain things and you're also free to do that too um but you know be that motivation because it i mean it is the best blessing you can ever do when god is able to bless you and you know when you can find that confidence in yourself and that strength and sometimes it's so hard to do where if you look at the past things that you've gone through and sometimes it takes that and you know and it can really be gut wrenching it can really be gut wrenching but you have to look at the past as a tool for you and you know and there's so many of us especially a, a lot of the ones that come in com contact and really open up to me you know you know you're going through something you have to find that inner strength in yourself and i had to do that and there's sometimes i struggle with that i'm not gonna lie because like i tell you when i come to my videos i'm not trying to say i'm perfect or everything i do is right i'm not going to say that because i'll be a lie but learning how to basically heal and it, it's just sometimes you even have negative memories that all keep popping up and it's that ego going through that change that transformation because i feel myself going through that transformation because i feel my ego really fighting with me and i'm just like you know look this is what happened yes it did happen but it's not happening to me now you know and it's just like yes these are really bad mishaps but I wouldn't be making these motivational videos today, helping people heal, helping people know, you know, this is what I am. I want to be proud to be what I am. I want to be able to help people. This is what I was born to do. So anybody, you don't have to be an empath. You don't have to be a twin flame. This is anybody. Everybody has a story to tell. Everybody has that blessing and that goal that they're reaching for. But when you find somebody else that's coming to you, when they fall short, don't be that person where you're up there and don't want to help somebody else get up there because you're scared of competition. Because I know a lot of people are like that. They don't want to help you get on that, you know, on that boat with them because they feel like, oh, she, you know, he or she's going to be a competition towards them. Don't be that person. Because I came across a lot of people like that because when they meet you and they see that inner strength in you a lot of people will find that very intimidating but don't don't allow that to stop you from doing what you're doing you keep pushing you keep doing what you're doing you keep on that journey you you know and there might be days that are rainy when you're trying to see that sun you know there's going to be rainy days like that but that's the days that it gives you the strength to reflect there be, might be days where you're tired of being alone and i say that sometimes i'm tired of being alone i want to be in love with you know find that right person that loves me for me actually loves me the same way i love them but i know you know i don't want to be in somebody's life and i haven't you know healed from all my past hurt because you, you know you never want to sit up here and bring anything into another level so it's just like you know going through you know going through different things and the people you come across you know you only can help them so much you know i i had an incident just the other day and i'm just like i told them you know you can't you only can lead a, a horse to water you can't make them drink but just to know that water is always there when you get thirsty <laughs> you know i say that it's, it's always there when you get thirsty and there's sometimes we 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 block ourselves from things we block ourselves from things because of the fear that we uphold because we don't know where that path might lead us but you're just leaping out on that faith and it's just you know that's something that you can't see and a lot of people you know when we get into our situations we don't feel like god hears us they don't hear our cry and he does he really does. Everything has a reason for happening the way it happened. It can be very tragic. It can be very trifling. It can be very hurtful, you know, but there's always a lesson for that. There's always a reason why you had to go through the things you had to go through. So be that motivation for somebody. Be that motivation for yourself. And when you can start being that motivation for yourself and find that confidence in yourself, you'll be able to help anybody. 
you'll be able to help anybody that you feel need because it is, you know, we have so much work to do. We have so much chaos going around. You know, we got shootings. You got people trying to prepare for stuff. And, you, you know, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out why. Do you, I mean, you can't go to a church. You can't go to a movie theater. You can't go to a casino. Our children aren't safe in school. And it's just like, it's trying to have us like in an epidemic like, Dad, can we not take our children over? You probably can't even go to a park without having to worry about somebody shooting up something at a park. You know, and it's just so many things that's going on right now where we need that extra push in the world. We need to be that person. You know, we can't conquer. You know, I said I can't, you know, conquer everything by myself. I'm just going to do my part, you know, by making these videos. You know, people sharing my videos. People understanding themselves. They're understanding me. And they're like, wow, you're on my level. You're speaking my language. You know, me and you, you know, we share the same story. And that is a true blessing to me. So it's just like, you know, when I tell myself, oh, I'm not where I'm at, but I look at all the little blessings. When you're able to appreciate the little things that comes in your life, and I know you'll be praying for, you know, this to happen for you, this to happen for you. There are so many times I pray, you know, let me get to my family, let, let me get to my family. But there's a reason why I had to go through these things. There's a reason why I, you know, I got slowed down. You know, there's people praying against me not being able to be with my family because they see millions and millions of dollars. They're not seeing the fact is that I had adopted family members, well, adopted family member and a step, you know, that was keeping me from my family. I only had one family member that was, you know, wanting me to reunite. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's just like I knew I had to go through that. And it was, you know, there's things that I have to still face that, you know, I came across my dad. And, you know, I've had that path. But it was just when there's so much deception with the other half and you don't know what's going on, you know, you're not going to walk into, you ain't going to walk into a lion's den like that blindfolded and not know if these lions is eight yet or they're not even in the, in the cage. So it was like a lot of things I had to go through and realize. You know, you're making these videos. First, it was to reunite with your mom and hopefully somebody would have found this video and that it would have reunited me with her. But then it turned for something even better. That's why I said when you're on your, your journey, you don't know where that journey might add on extra extra blessings to you that you didn't really know about yourself saying, oh man, I'm not just on this, I'm collaborating with this. And then next thing you know, you come down the road and God blesses you with another thing. You never know where your path is going to lead you. And there's so many times we get scared and we turn away or we self-sabotage or we block our blessings because we're scared of that change. Ego does not like change. We don't like change at times. But it has to happen for us to be that better version of ourselves. So be that motivation for you and be that motivation for the next person. But I'm not trying to hold you up. It was 13, 13 when I said that. <laughs> so I will talk to you later. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two if you want to give your opinion, your positive feedback, or even want to tell me about your experience. It will greatly be appreciated. And I will talk to you in my next video. Keep me in, my, in your prayers and I will definitely, definitely keep you in mind. And much love to you and many blessings. Peace and be found.